Okay, so if I want to take a previously completed peer review exercise and replicate it in other sections, it's a little different than I typically replicate. I usually go through the admin menu. In this case, what we're going to want to do is go to the folder that you want to create this peer review assignment in, and then go back to Turnitin hyphen MVC. And then once that loads up, you can use the option to copy assignments from previously created. Um, and so I'll have to search for whichever section I created that in, um, in the right semester as well. And then I select the assignment I want. This is a peer review assignment that I made and copy it. I'm going to start different due dates because it's a different section, but you would set that up however you want to. So the start date for submitting the draft is right now. The due date is when the lab meets, in my case. You would set that for whatever you want the due date to be for the draft. And then the feedback gets released after the peer review is completed. So I left time for the students to do the peer review. So we click that bottom button on the right corner and it adds this item to the end. Um, I noticed the formatting on the details get messed up. So you might have to go back in and fix the formatting and that kind of thing. Um, but then you can actually click into the assignment and you want to make sure that the peer review part is set up for the right grade that you want, when you want students to do it, so after the due date of the draft. I give students two days. It's a tight timeline, but they have to get the report done in a week. So that's, um, that's just how it works out. Oops. Okay, and then they should be able to see the feedback after the due date it passes. So, um, and in your additional settings, you have to still set everything up the way that you like these settings to be. So it doesn't automatically carry that over save it. Um, so it kind of just carries over like the description and all that stuff. You probably have to update any dates and whatnot. Um, and you got to go to the questions and import those questions again from the library. So at this point, it should all be set up and, and you can do that for all the courses that you need to.